good morning today we'll discuss about metabolic engineering for vitamin c production it comes under the topic microbial transformation observe the title we are producing vitamin c by metabolic engineering we are using microorganism for vitamin c production that's why it comes under the topic microbial biotechnology using a microorganism we are producing vitamin c first question comes to your mind what is metabolic engineering metabolism we all know metabolic pathway we know once we need to produce vitamin c we need to study the pathway required for the vitamin c production and engineering is the word which implies technology here we are using a microorganism to produce vitamin c the technique was emerged in 1990 and discovered by bailey in 1991 microbial production is cost effective and convenient over uh, the main strategy includes over expressing the gene encoding the rate limiting enzyme and by blocking competing metabolic pathway basic strategy is we know the pathway and we know which gene encodes for the protein that is you know the story gene then rna rna to protein and that protein hormone enzyme and that enzyme is required for different production so in the same way first we need to study the pathway then we need to study the gene mechanism and then we can control the gene expression or we can block the pathway or we can simplify the pathway which is required to produce vitamin c so what we are doing today is we are producing vitamin c using microorganism vitamin c you already know vitamin c is part of your diet vitamin c is also known as ascorbic acid it is basically water soluble vitamin and vitamin c is required for several processes it acts as a reducing agent in collagen synthesis that's why it is involved in repair tissue it acts as a cofactor in carnitine biosynthesis it acts as a cofactor in catechol amine synthesis so it acts as an coenzyme cofactor involved in enzymatic production of certain neurotransmitters and it is an antioxidant but first thing comes to our mind when we heard vitamin c vitamin c is found in citrus fruits tomato strawberry broccoli all are rich in vitamin c antioxidant and you also know its deficiency causes scurvy so the topic is industrial production of vitamin c we are producing vitamin c by two processes one is reichstein chemical process and one more is biocatalytic process by using microorganisms our main target is the second one biocatalytic process that is using microorganisms we can produce vitamin c just observe the flow chart if you observe the flow chart what we require is simple sugar that is glucose and if you observe the arrow mark there are two microorganisms one is ervinia herbicola and one more is corny bacterium species just observe the flow chart is uh, properly first write the structure of d glucose very simple structure you can all write glucose is converted to 2,5 di keto d gluconic acid with the help of hervinia herbicola gluconic acid just the first group you have to alter aldehyde group with carboxylic acid then corny bacterium species along with the enzyme reductase undergoes reduction and will get the product 2 keto l gluconic acid remember 2 keto l gluconic acid is the key product for vitamin c production 
just observe the flow chart directly from D glucose with less number of steps we are getting the precursor required for vitamin C production. So metabolic engineering includes these two organisms and yield is also high almost 60 percent. We are exploiting two organisms Ervinia herbicola and Cornibacterium species uh, but the main uh, drawback is both the organisms requires different temperature and different pH conditions. To solve this problem, you already know we can create a vector. Next concept is we can produce desired gene using a vector. You know already you have studied transformation technique also. Once you done the cloning, you will check with the help of screening and after screening we can directly uh, know the pathway and successive steps. So, vector is ready now with the desired gene. This vector is introduced into Ervinia and as a result of which occurs as a modified stain and modified stain results in vitamin C production that is direct conversion of D-glucose to 2 ketogluconic acid with very less steps, one or two steps. Not only Ervinia, we can use other microorganisms like Acetobacter, Gluconobacter, etc. And even Cornibacterium, Brevibacterium, Orthobacter. Metabolic engineering is very simple and commercially viable, pro but uh, commercial yield is still difficult. So just observe the technique. We are producing vitamin C using microorganisms. And also we have engineered the microorganisms that is gene uh, expression using a vector. So ultimately the product yield is 60% and we have avoided lots of chemical steps and use of chemicals. Advantages, we are using microorganism. It is a biocatalytic process. It is less hazardous to environment. More yield is obtained. And it also avoids synthesis of chemical derivatives since we are using biocatalyst. And in chemical process, we are using explosive gases, acetone, KMNO4, increased temperature and pressure. But in biocatalytic process, high temperature, high pressure and high usage of chemicals are not required. Chemical process also involves one microorganism that is Rextine process. He reported the synthesis of vitamin C. Commercially, it is used for the production of vitamin C. Starting material is D-glucose only. It includes six chemical steps. That is oxidation of sorbitol to sorbose. And uh, this chemical production, the pathway required for chemical production is also called sorbitol pathway. And here for fermentation purpose, we are using one bacteria, Astobacter suboxidans. Overall yield is 50. If you observe the pathway, you will come to know there are several steps we require to produce 2 keto L gluconic acid. Then the organism is required, you know, fermenters are required. That is the main thing. Glucose is the starting material and control temperature and uh, pH. Optimum temperature where the organism growth is more and yield should be obtained will be. High time required is 36 to 48 hours. Corn steep liquor, tap water, anti foaming agents are required. You know the basic fermentation process. So, to grow organism, you know already. To grow a microorganism, we require optimum temperature, optimum pH, time should be proper, and then substrate. Ultimately, you will get a proper yield. So, the pathway is. First, you can write the structure of glucose. Glucose to sorbitol, sorbitol to sorbose, then acetone sar uh, sorbose, and use, with the usage of KMNO4, ultimately it results in 2 keto L gluconic acid, and you will get a structure called vitamin C. But if you observe this slide again, here we are using high temperature, high pressure, hydrogen acts as an explosive gas, nickel acts as a catalyst. And uh, one more thing is we are using more chemicals, acetone and KMNO4. 
So compared to biocatalytic process, chemical process is tedious with more number of steps. Explosive gases used, protecting group is required, acetone, KMNO4 are required, and chemicals are hazardous to environment and it works under high temperature and high. And ultimately, uh, it results in the production of vitamin C, that is ascorbic acid. The stable ultimate last product is 2-keto gluconic acid. Microbial process has advantages over Rickstein process because it reduces <coughs> amounts of poisonous gases produced. Less equipments are required. Raw materials needed also less. So cost of production is less and is more effective yield wise. Nowadays they are trying with algae also but yield is very low compared to this um, Rickstein process and other biocatalytic process. So what is our conclusion? We are producing vitamin C. If we are producing vitamin C, the first question comes to our mind is why we need vitamin C? Okay, vitamin C is a part of our diet. In pharmaceuticals, pharmaceutical companies, almost 50% of pharmaceutical companies require vitamin C. I mean, vitamin C usage in pharmaceutical 50%. And beverages also almost 25%. Animal feed, 10%. So, and even in food industries, food additives, etc. Vitamin C, you know, it is a rich antioxidant. That's why we need to produce vitamin C. But to produce vitamin C, first we need to study the microorganism. First we need to grow organism, optimize temperature, optimize pH and substrate. So once we provide all this optimum conditions for the growth of microorganism and once we study the pathway, we can expect a good yield by minimizing various steps which is involved in chemical process. So what is our conclusion? Microbial synthesis is cost effective, less hazardous compared to chemical process. Why we need to study this topic under microbial biotechnology, you know already. Because we are using microorganism for vitamin C production. In exam, how you need to write, you can explain both the Rickstein process and biocatalytic process. And to remember structure, it's very easy. Just you need to concentrate on glucose structure and the precursor, that is 2-keto-L-gluconic acid. So now we have finished the production of vitamin C. Thank you.